Hello my friends, today I'll show you how to make a frickin' hard bass house drop like Julian Jordan in FL Studio 20. Actually the result kinda sounds like Tommy Jaden trying to create a Julian Jordan style drop. So if you wanna find out what that sounds like make sure to watch to the end. But first I just wanna quickly say that I recently released my own future house sample pack with 5 professional future house FLPs, 275 samples, and 130 presets for Serum and Silenth 1. The link is in the description. Alright boys, we'll start off by creating some tight drums and effects, but before you skip to the lead or bass line I would really advise you to watch this part. In this drop it's probably as important as the lead because it's really what adds rhythm and power to the drop. Let's start by adding a really tight kick and some claps. Nice. Now we're gonna add some percussion elements to create some rhythm and groove. Now dudes, this part is probably one of the most important parts in the drop. I'm of course talking about the stabs. We will add 4 stabs that play at the start of every other beat, and 1 short stab that plays on every other kick. Now guys let's have some fun and just add some random sounds and effects. Let's also add some rides and hi-hats that only play in the second half of the drop. Guys, lastly we're gonna add this cool little fill thingy at the end. I started by changing the rhythm of the main kick drum to this triplet rhythm. I then added all these elements following the same rhythm. Lastly I sidechained all the fill elements to the kick by using this volume automation. Guys, this little fill thing I created makes the drop a lot more interesting and unique. Small things like this can really make your drop stand out, which is extremely important in this day and age. I just had fun and tested out some random effects and it actually turned into a quite nice fill, so I hope this inspires you to just play around with something too. Alright boys, this is the full drum pattern. Now my good men, we will create a fat baseline, but first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. Alright, we'll start off with this dirty ass serum preset. Now let's add some more layers to really fill it out. Now let's add some nice mixing effects to make the bass slap a whole lot harder. We'll start with EQ, then compression with OTT, distortion with fruity fast dist, a second EQ, more distortion with camel crusher, a sounditizer, and a final EQ. This my friends is the bass without the processing effects. And this is with. Damn that sounds freaking dirty, but it's not supposed to sound clean, it's supposed to add as much power and energy as possible. Now that we have a hard bass line, let's make it even harder by adding some synth stabs on top. We'll add these two synth layers. Playing these notes. Let's also add some harmony chords on top of the bass. It's just a saw layer from Silenth 1 with some reverb playing this melody, while being controlled by this cutoff automation. This is what we've made so far. Now my wonderful people, let's try to create a f***ing huge lead. We're gonna start with this serum lead preset. Now we'll add some more layers to fill out the sound. Oh. 
Alright guys this is where the magic happens. We are gonna add a few mixing effects to make the lead as hard as possible while still sounding crisp. Let's start with a very short reverb. Then an EQ removing the low end. Compression with OTT. A second EQ. Distortion with Camel Crusher. More distortion with Fruity Blood Overdrive. Sound Jedizer. A third EQ. And lastly a Fruity Stereo Shaper which makes the lead wider. This is the lead without the mixing effects. And this is with. I think it sounds a lot better now. Now that we're done with the mixing let's add this big reverb and control it with this reverb automation. <laughs> Lastly I added the synth shot playing a bit of the lead melody which makes the lead more interesting. Nice. Guys, the absolute last thing we're gonna add is this siren sound that plays in the second half of the drop. Alright guys, that was all of the elements of the drop, but before I show you the result, I would sincerely appreciate it if you went and checked out the sample pack. The link is in the description. Alright guys, here we go. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.